Donald Trump is running to make America great again, but he needs the backing of grassroots patriots to retake the White House. Just 42,000 more ballots would have turned 2020 into a conservative victory. Turning Point PAC is hiring thousands of ballot chasers in Georgia, Arizona, and other swing states to get those ballots and make sure we win in November. Go to tprav.com to make a gift of any amount, and you'll receive this incredible red hat as a thank you. Join us in the battle to save America. Go to tprav.com right now. That's tprav.com, and thank you for your support. And if you have all of your eggs in one basket in the financial markets, you have to diversify. So whether you're diversifying with coins or bars or even prepper bars, you know, definitely now's the time to be proactive and not reactive. Hey everybody, Charlie Kirk here. I'm thrilled to announce my new book, Right Wing Revolution, that you should learn about. Our nation is falling apart. The left wants to destroy American greatness. Will you allow that to happen? Only one book provides a roadmap on how to save America through a right wing revolution. If we follow the steps in this book, we can save the West and preserve American greatness. For a gift of any amount, you can get this new book today. Go to tpusa.com. In the wake of the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, a powerful message has emerged. Fight and unite. How do you answer this call? By joining AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens. AMAC is more than just an organization. It's a movement. By becoming a member, you unite with over 2.1 million American patriots committed to defending our values and freedoms. AMAC listens to its members and fights every day to hold our leaders accountable and pass common sense legislation. The larger our membership, the greater our influence. As a member, you'll gain access to exclusive money-saving discounts and a subscription to the award-winning AMAC magazine, packed with valuable insights. Join the movement of concerned citizens uniting under the AMAC banner to fight for the values that make our nation great. Visit AMAC today to learn more and become a part of something bigger. Donald Trump is running to make America great again, but he needs the backing of grassroots patriots to retake the White House. Just 42,000 more ballots would have turned 2020 into a conservative victory. Turning Point PAC is hiring thousands of ballot chasers in Georgia, Arizona, and other swing states to get those ballots and make sure we win in November. Go to tprav.com to make a gift of any amount, and you'll receive this incredible red hat as a thank you. Join us in the battle to save America. Go to tprav.com right now. That's tprav.com, and thank you for your support. Their actions have been strictly partisan so far. And how do I know Trump is counting on that? Here he is praising those very election board members during an Atlanta rally who passed these rules. Here he is. I don't know if you've heard, but the Georgia State Election Board is in a very positive way. This is a very positive thing, Marjorie. They're on fire. They're doing a great job. Three members. Janice Johnson. Rick Jeffries and Janelle King, three people, are all pit bulls fighting for honesty, transparency, and victory. They're fighting. With just 46 days to go, even as votes are already being cast, poll workers are being trained and ballots for overseas voters are in the mail. Right now, we are seeing something seemingly unprecedented and just downright alarming in the battleground state of Georgia an 11th hour attempt to essentially throw the November election into total disarray. Today, Georgia's pro-Trump majority election board passed a handful of new rules, all of which serve no purpose other than to just delay certification and create chaos on election night, including one that requires a hand count of all ballots after polls close on November 5th. The pro-Trump members were able to approve this rule, despite the fact that officials from all over the state were basically begging them not to, including Republicans like Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and the secretary and the state attorney general, who said these rules, quote, very likely exceed the board's authority. A similar sentiment was shared by some of the people who actually have to do the hard work on election night and beyond, like election supervisors and poll workers. 
As the Washington Post reports, this rule requires the hand count to take place the night of the November election or the next day. But dozens of election officials said that would be physically impossible in all but the smallest counties. Many also said that it is far too late in the year to adopt new procedures for which their staffs have not been trained and for which they have no funds. There's also the fact that research and practice have shown again and again that hand counting of ballots is less accurate than machine tallies and that it can take days, weeks or even months, depending on the size of the jurisdiction. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. You got to let's going to throw the election into complete disarray to get the count right. They don't have the funds. They don't have the training, the government that they want to they want to, you know, pass these these CR resolutions to kick the can down the road to, to justify the spending because the government's so essential. If the government shuts down, what will happen? But none of these people are properly trained to get the count right. I mean, Joy Ann Reed, she's uh She's a special character, isn't she? Amy, uh, let us know where we could. What, what, what's your response to this this clip here from Joy Ann Reed? First off, look, what they're trying to do is what what the like I said, they're breaking no laws that this does not go against any Georgia law um, and it will hold up in court. But they're afraid. We're, we're stopping their cheating. We're putting up obstruction to their cheating and stealing of an election again. I mean, they act like Georgia is a bunch of rednecks that can't count or that we all learned common core math. It's not hard to count. I mean, you can count 50 ballots real quickly. You're counting the pieces of paper. You're not tabulating the votes. But this is see, this is what getting into the weeds. And I don't want to really go there. But in 2020, what they did was they were screaming certify, certify, certify. And if in the secretary of state threatened counties, if you don't certify when their numbers weren't matching up, if you don't certify, I'm sending the Georgia state patrol and the sheriff deputies down there and we're going to arrest you. And so that's the mm. fear and intimidation that's been Tyranny. put into these. Ele- who, who yes, gonna, it is. Who, who are- who are they going to arrest you with, by the way? Who, who, who are they threatening to, to make those arrests? I just want to be clear. They're, they're threatening the poll workers, the, the right, sheriffs. Right, but who was going to execute the, the sheriffs? Okay. okay the sheriff in Georgia. Wait, Georgia State Patrol, who is there under Brian. Yeah. So um, this is the thing. It's really unbelievable, but they, that Brad Raffensperger and the Secretary of State since 2020 has not provided a certified list of of qualified voters. And how can you conduct an election if you don't have a list before voting starts to know who is qualified and to vote? You can't. It's like a bank teller. You know, she goes in, she counts her till at the beginning of the day. And at the end of the day, she counts it again and it has to reconcile. We all we're asking for is to reconcile before we certify. It's not rockets. We're capable of doing it. It can be done quickly. But they are putting up all the roadblocks, threatening lawsuits, filing lawsuits, putting up hit lists because they know that it's going to be harder for them to cheat and steal another election. But, Royce, we are not going to give up another um, a lawsuit was just filed recently within the past two weeks uh, in DeKalb County against the secretary of state and the Dominion machines because they have open access encryption keys, meaning anybody can just log in. It's like being on a computer and your the password is there mm-hmm. stuck to the monitor. It, I That's mean, right. it, there is so much going on. There's there's lawsuits about cleaning the voter rolls. That's another thing they refuse to do. But we are not going to give up. We're, we're relentless. But at the same time, we can we can um, walk and chew gum. At the same time, we are working fiercely to get out the vote for President Trump and J.D. Vance. And yes. I want to encourage if you anywhere across the country, if you want to come and knock doors with us, volunteer with us, we could use your help. It's going to take all of us. President Trump and J.D. can't do that this on their own. They need our help. And so we've got to do everything we can over the next, um, I think it's 45 days. But can I just say. Where, where can they go? Find, where, where can they go? go to, where can they go? Yeah. You can go to um, TrumpForce47.com and sign up there. You can also, um, if you want to support the Georgia GOP, you can go to GeorgiaGOP.com and then, of course, GOP.com. 
everybody's working together, which is great news. Absentee ballots start, are mailed out starting today. Early voting starts October 15th. And I do have to tell you that in 2020, at this point, we had over 1 million requests for absentee ballots. As of today, we're around 150,000. So I think that is great news. And um, people, yes, they want to get out and vote because the, at the end of the day, are you better off now than you were four years ago? I mean, you know, do you, is your bank account, does it have more money now than you did four years ago? People are not stupid and they're tired of this BS and they're not buying into it anymore. And they want a change. And that changes President Trump. He's it's for the first time you have two people running on their record. And yeah. um, and President Trump has a record. And, and the last thing I, I want to say is. President Trump empowered women more than any president in U.S. history. Not only were our families safe, more, safe, more money was in our bank accounts, we could provide for our families, and he empowered women more than any other president. Just because a woman is running for president does not mean a woman needs to go vote for a woman. You vote, vote for the best person and their policies, and it's about self-preservation. You go into that ballot box, and nobody's going to know who you vote for. Amen, Amy. Amy Kramer, everybody from the great state of Georgia, they are carrying out a very important fight, making incredible headway. We appreciate your time, Amy. Thank you so much. Um, anytime Joy Ann Reed's talking, she's lying. I mean, that's just the reality. I, I can't believe people actually believe anything she has to say anymore. But we're going to keep fighting. And, and the more that the more that she talks, the more chance that she's going to trip all over herself and, and, and reveal who she really is like. You know, they have a problem with us getting the count right. Unbelievable. We want to get the count right. We want people to have faith in these elections. There's nothing wrong or corrupt about that. That's exactly what she should want. That's what everybody should want. But it's not what they want. What do they have to hide? Headed out to Las Vegas, Nevada. We have Seagal Chata, another great American patriot and fighter out there. MAGA. Seagal, how you doing this morning? Good morning, Royce. How are you? I'm, I'm fantastic. Good. Good to have you here this morning. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Tell us what's going on there in Las Vegas. What what, what are we seeing out there in the battleground state of, of Nevada? Well, I think this is going to be the year that we flip Nevada red and we deliver uh, Nevada for Trump. It's going to be great. We are firing on all cylinders here. We've got an amazing door knocking operation, both the Nevada GOP and the RNC and Trump Force 47. Um, I saw my friend Amy Kramer on before. Um, I think Nevada is so important. There is no pathway to victory on this election without winning Nevada. And we have managed to do some incredible stuff here over the past uh, three months um, to ensure election integrity. We're cleaning up voter rolls. We just got a hundred thousand uh, roll dump that we managed to do. Um, removing people that should have never voted before. And uh, they're not going to be voting in 2024, which is 100,000 uh, voters in Nevada is actually twice, almost three times what Trump lost Nevada by in 2020. Right, right. Close. These elections are close. Seagal, stay with us. We're going to bring you back on the other side of the break uh, in a moment and talk more about Las Vegas, an important battleground state. It looks like Donald Trump is up from many of the projections out there in polls got to take that with a grain of salt but we'll be right back in a moment stay tuned tax network usa is a patriot owned business specializing in aggressive strategies designed to help solve irs problems quickly and in your favor after a two-year pandemic pause in collections the irs has stepped up collection efforts with an army of new agents here's how tax network usa can help Tax Network USA has a preferred direct line to the IRS. They know which agents to talk to and who to avoid. If they get a difficult agent, they call a different agent. Their tough negotiators don't stop. They know how to help reduce or even eliminate tax debt. Their experts explore every possible solution to help end your debt fast. Some tax solutions expire. You don't want to wait on this. Waiting could make it worse. You don't want to miss out on hardship or forgiveness programs. Never call the IRS yourself. You're at their mercy. You could sit on hold for six to eight hours. They could grind you for all your back taxes, plus interest and penalties. You need Tax Network USA. They are the warriors. 
TNUSA can handle all your state tax issues as well. Tax Network USA is offering a free consult to Steve Bannon listeners. Call 1-800-958-1000. Visit TNUSA.com backslash Bannon. And if you have all of your eggs in one basket in the financial markets, you have to diversify. So whether you're diversifying with coins or bars or even prepper bars, you know, definitely now's the time to be proactive and not reactive. Donald Trump is running to make America great again, but he needs the backing of grassroots patriots to retake the White House. Just 42,000 more ballots would have turned 2020 into a conservative victory. Turning Point PAC is hiring thousands of ballot chasers in Georgia, Arizona, and other swing states to get those ballots and make sure we win in November. Go to tprav.com to make a gift of any amount, and you'll receive this incredible red hat as a thank you. Join us in the battle to save America. Go to tprav.com right now. That's tprav.com, and thank you for your support. In 2024, we find ourselves at a pivotal moment where the call for unity, freedom, and a better future echoes louder than ever. For more than 10 years, Patriot Mobile has been committed to supporting the values that make our nation great. With affordable plans and reliable nationwide coverage on all three of the major networks, Patriot Mobile is not just a wireless service. It's a call to action for those who believe in the American dream. Choose a wireless carrier that shares your values. Choose Patriot Mobile. In the wake of the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, a powerful message has emerged. Fight and unite. How do you answer this call? By joining AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens. AMAC is more than just an organization. It's a movement. By becoming a member, you unite with over 2.1 million American patriots committed to defending our values and freedoms. AMAC listens to its members and fights every day to hold our leaders accountable and pass common sense legislation. The larger our membership, the greater our influence. As a member, you'll gain access to exclusive money-saving discounts and a subscription to the award-winning AMAC magazine, packed with valuable insights. Join the movement of concerned citizens uniting under the AMAC banner to fight for the values that make our nation great. Visit AMAC today to learn more and become a part of something bigger. and see how much you can save. Do you have a box of videotapes, film reels, or photos that are degrading? Legacy Box professionally converts them to DVDs, thumb drive, or the cloud. Legacy Box is simple and safe with over a million satisfied customers. Visit LegacyBox.com today and get 50% off. Would you like to get up to 33% more income in retirement? Call now and get this free book, Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers. As a bonus, we'll throw in a free annuity rate report. Both books are yours free just for calling Annuity General today. Here's your host, Stephen K. Bann. Welcome back to The War Room. I'm your host, Royce White, here in the belly of the beast, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Never gets old hearing them say, here's your host, Stephen K. Bannon. Our thoughts and prayers are with the great Stephen K. Bannon. Patiently, patiently, but not not so patient, waiting for his release from the kangaroo witch hunt show trial lawfare prison. Um, headed back out to Las Vegas, Nevada. Seagal Chata there giving us great news from the ground. Nevada, an important, an important swing state. Donald Trump up in Nevada by most polls that we see. Seagal, what what what's your feeling there in, in Las Vegas? You were telling us right before the break where where, where you think Nevada is uh, for the, for the first time in in a while. We're gonna we're gonna get Nevada. Uh, what what do you think the implications are there on the ground? 
Look, there's no question about it. Nevada leads the country with the inflation rate. We've got the, I believe it's either the second or the highest inflation rate in the nation. Um, our gas prices are the second or third highest gas prices. The economy has really taken a toll on Nevadans. And don't forget that our state is predominantly a, a blue collar state. We have, we're a service industry state. We've got gaming, we've got um, you know, the culinary union members, yes, the, um, the membership, like many other unions, are completely detached from the leadership. And while the leadership has maybe endorsed Kamala, it's the union members that have uh, the most hardship when we're dealing with the actual state of the economy in Nevada. So I think for that reason, what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of blue collar workers that are really turning to Trump to be, you know, that refuge, that economic refuge and the Republican Party to follow up with that. Yeah, well, a lot of these a lot of these union leaders have become pretty, pretty aristocratic and, and, and uh, elitist in their positions as well. Well paid, well funded. Uh, but it's the working man that's ultimately going to decide the fate of this country. So we appreciate you out there in Las Vegas. Tell us where people can follow you on social media and keep up with the latest on what's happening there in Nevada, an important swing state that it appears we are winning right now. Yes, Royce, from your mouth to God's ears, um, they can find me on uh, Twitter, Getter, Truth, Facebook, everything. It's Chatta for Nevada, C-H-A-T-T-A-H, the number four, Nevada spelled out. Um, and I'm going to do a shameless plug. Sunday night, we've got Steve Bannon and Cash Patel's uh, Government Gangsters movie this Sunday coming up, not tomorrow, next week, um, September 29th at Brendan Theater. So please, if you're in the Las Vegas area or you're going to be in the Las Vegas area, look it up and come on down and watch this amazing movie. Thank you so much, Seagal. We appreciate it. Have a very good day. We will we'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Have a wonderful day. Seagal Chada from Nevada. I love that. I love that. Winning in Nevada. It's going to be a bit in that, that that Nevada is going to be important as a as a as a gauge for the rest of the country and, and we saw you know Kamala Harris go on this 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 tirade there in Detroit uh, Michigan another another working man's city um, about the unions <laughs> and, you know we see that the poll from the Teamsters says that that Trump's up about 70 percent to 30 percent from the members now the leadership again and 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 we'll have to address this at some point in time and all of you all of you members out there there's a lot of implications for you unions uh, going into this election and coming out the other side of this election as 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 to the the direction of your union going forward. And, and every last one of you has to make those decisions. All of you union members and your unions have to make those decisions for yourself. I would never try to infringe upon that. But this is a key moment, a key moment for the unions all across this country. The same way we have to ask, does our D.C political elite reflect the will of the people and the interest of the people. You union members have to decide whether or not your union leaders uh, reflect the will of the membership, the direction that the membership wants to go. If not, you use the mechanisms that you can to replace those leaders. Uh, and I hope that you, you, you've negotiated that th those things to be in place. But we see this all across the country right now. A lot of these union leaders do not reflect the will of the, of the union members. Uh, and, and that's that's a, a microcosm for the country writ large. Going on out to my man, Tage Gill, Warpath Coffee. Tage, is Tage there? How you doing, brother? How you doing, Rice? Good, good. good. Okay, I want an update. But but first, the last time we talked, we had just come come through one assassination attempt. Now we've presumably had another. Okay, and, and I and I'm. I'm following uh, Sean Ryan and some of these other individuals who are former operators, and and I and I hear that there are a, a a healthy number of snipers out there that could be called upon to protect Donald Trump in this final turn for the election, to where he would almost be what some would say is is bulletproof. I, I hear that those snipers are out there. 
for, former snipers and that they can be hired. Is this something you think we should do uh, in, in this final turn to, to heighten the, the security measures around Donald Trump? Because I think they're going to try and kill him again. Uh, absolutely. They're, they're definitely going to try to kill him again. Um, yeah, there's, I, I think they should absolutely either hire private security or tap into the Special Operations Command. And, you know, there's a lot of highly trained security professionals over there. Um, they can get SEAL Team 6 guys, Delta Force guys. But I don't know if they would do that for a presidential candidate. But obviously, the Secret Service is not living up to its potential with these multiple assassination attempts. And I saw a report yesterday that Congress, Matt Gates said that there's five assassination teams out there that are tracking Trump. And then I saw a report saying that surface to air missiles. So yeah, something definitely needs to be done. The, the secret service is not deterring the threat. That's their, that's their, that should be their main mission is deterrence right now. Yeah. They're reacting. So they're, they're behind the power curve. They're reacting to these threats. They're not deterring the threats so, to deter a threat, you have to, almost like intimidation, your security posture has to be so strong that people are afraid to attack your protectee, which is who's Trump, right? So the, and then the 20 year old kid shows up and then this weirdo Ukraine supporter shows up, you know, he's in the golf course bushes for 12 hours. Uh, and then why didn't why did why wasn't he killed? Why did why did the Secret Service miss? You know the Secret Service is not doing it right. They need to deter the threat. Uh, my opinion, <clears throat> only only the inner perimeter of this detail should be in suit and ties. They they need heavy hitting operators out there, guys in camouflage uniforms, body armor, long guns, helmets, the whole nine yard, gun trucks right. on the street with machine guns. It's right. it's beyond the point of. Yeah, why the pleasantries, right? Why, why, why yeah, the why facade? The pleasant, get rid of, of, get rid of the suit and ties. Get, yeah, get rid of the suit and ties. Get some heavy hitting operators out there that are going to intimidate people. We need deterrence. That's that. That's when you're when you're part of a security detail. You have to live a life of deterrence. You have to stop the threats before they even start. And these guys, like I said, they're they're reactive. They're, Anybody and everybody's coming out trying to take a shot at Trump now. And these guys, instead of living a Do life think, of deterrence, they're living, they're, they're just reacting, reacting, reacting. So they're behind the power think, curve. Do you think that Team Trump should go to private security measures in addition to Secret Service? Is that is that something that you <clears throat> think is, is possible and would be effective? I think, I think it would be effective, but I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if the... It's called interoperability. I don't know if the interoperability would work between a private security detail and Secret Service, because then you're going to you have the question of who's actually in charge of the detail. And I don't think the right. Secret Service is going to give it up. Or if they did give it up, I think they would just completely pull out and say, fine, you can do it on your own and have private security, which would not be you a think bad that would thing. Be but would that be better? It, it, I don't know. It, I think the actual some of the guys would be better in the tactics, but they don't, then they wouldn't be able to tap into these resources like the secret service can. So, and then right. you're going to have problems going from state to state with private security, carrying guns and licenses. Guns across so state lines, right. if, if they could, if they could badge these, uh, if he had a private security detail, then they could deputize them actually have them right. Deputize them actually sworn in at a federal level. They could be, um, U.S. Marshals, you can give them, you can badge in private security as U.S. Marshals. They just don't have arrest authority, but they can. That gives them the the power to carry their gun on aircraft, federal aircraft, through airports, through um, state to state. That's that's gonna that would be the major problem is moving with your weapons as private security from state to yeah, state and know. through federal areas. So we'll, we'll keep we'll, we'll keep we'll keep track in that. It's a we'll, give we'll and keep take track. thing. Yeah, no, we'll keep tracking that. I want to, I want to keep tracking that because it's still to me the most significant moment in this entire political season was Donald Trump taking a bullet, surviving a bullet, having the mainstream media kick out Biden, bring in Kamala. Now they try and act as though the assassination attempt was staged. I mean, that's still what they're running down through the, through the the, the right. anals of the Democrat side of the the aisle, and right. now he tries to get us. They try to assassinate him again, and it's like, well, the, you know. The, the, 
you know, this one wasn't as big of a deal. It's like, it's almost kind of normalizing it, but, but, but let's, uh, and then another thing is, um, one more, one more thing they, they, so Matt Gates came out and said in a, um, a report from Homeland security that there's up to five assassination teams tracking Trump right now. Why, why are, why isn't the FBI and, you know, maybe the military counterterrorism units going after these people. I, if they, And they're saying some of them are Iranian. If there are Iranian assassin teams operating on U.S. soil, that is a terrorist. Those are, those guys are terrorists. So you can activate, um, you know, SEAL Team 6, Delta Force, the FBI hostage rescue team to track and kill these guys, track and arrest these guys. That should have been done already. That's that's part of this deterrence thing. It's not. So Way what are they, the are they waiting for them to take a shot? Then they're going to react to it again. It it, you got to stop reacting so. and start. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would appear so. Tell us about Warpath. Warpath. Yep. Um, Warpath, Warpath coffee. 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 Yes. Yep. It's Steve Bannon's favorite coffee. Like uh, we've there created a dark roast for him. The Mariners blend. We small batch roast it. <clears throat> it's it's the best coffee out there. It's so smooth. You don't need any milk, any sugar. It's not acidic at all. So it's it's amazing coffee. Like I said, it's Steve Bannon's favorite, veteran owned. Go to <clears throat> Warpath 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 dot coffee. Excuse me, Warpath dot coffee is a website. And you can use promo code War Room. We're doing twenty percent off for the War Room posse this weekend. Promo code War Room. Warpath.coffee, and it's the best coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Tage, it's good to talk to you again, brother. I appreciate it. And I'm going to I'm gonna go buy some Warpath coffee right now. I'm, I'm on my way awesome. right now when we get off the show to get my Warpath coffee. And guess what? In the future, we're going to get a we're going to get a Royce White blend. I'm calling you, brother. We're going to get a Royce <laughs> yeah, White blend going. It. OK. All right. We're going to smash it. mouth blend of, of, of Warpath coffee. But good to talk to you again, brother. I appreciate you. We appreciate your service. We appreciate Warpath. Everybody make sure you go out and support this gentleman right here. He's a man's man and he's a American patriot. Um, well, we're just moving right along today. We got the great Mike Lindell coming up at the end of the hour. It's always, always a pleasure to, to join forces with the great Mike Lindell, a fellow Minnesotan here on the war room. Um, but before then, we're, we're going we're gonna to talk about some things on the other side of the break as well. We hope you're enjoying the show. We hope you're enjoying the lineup. I'm enjoying hosting. Uh, this is this is War Room, the house that Steve Bannon built, getting down to the, the nitty gritty, as he would say. Um, stay tuned. We'll be back on the other side of the break. You are over, cause we're taking down the CCP. 